you. So this is a video response to what Dawn did video titled Problems with Black Hairdressers. Not so much a video response to what Dawn said but more to some of the comments that were made. Some people felt that what Dawn said in her video was ignorant or offensive and that she was generalising um, black hairdressers. Now me personally I do not feel she did because if you read some of the if you read the comments, most of the comments um agree with what Dawn said because they've experienced the same things as her. I can say that I've experienced the same things as Dawn because I cannot remember the last time I went to a salon, um, got in there at the time allocated and got out at this you know, within a couple of hours. You tend to be in a salon for the whole day that like getting your hair done and nine times out of ten when they do finish your hair you don't even like what has been done to it and you don't really question it because you know this is the only place you can really go to because how do you really find a salon to go to you tend to go off of other people's experiences and um or you see someone else's hair and you th you ask them where they got their hair done and then you go there. I've been to the salons that are around the corner, down the back streets, and I've been to like the professional salons. And I can't really say there's a difference. Um, I kind of got treated the same at both. <laughs> and I don't think it matters how much money you spend. It just comes down to people and their business ethic and how they want to conduct their business and their service. Um, I'm glad that Dawn did do this video because it's one of those things that people don't tend to talk about they just think it's part of their hair just experience as such um you kind of are expected to be in the hair salon all day you kind of expect somebody to um be eating it's just one of those things that you kind of in a way get used to but you shouldn't because it isn't correct um at the end of the day a salon is a place of business and it has become like a hangout spot which some people can say is kind of part of the black community as such but at times why should you have to you know go to salon and while your hair's getting done the, the stylist is like wait a minute i'm gonna go get some food like don't you have an allocated lunch time if you wanted to eat you shouldn't have had an appointment how do you think why did i go there but it's like where else are you gonna go like dawn said you do end up going back to the same place again because you don't know where else to go so um i personally do not go to salons now just because of the experiences i had um i haven't been to a salon for a good four or five years just because of those experiences those who do you know conduct their business in a professional manner good and keep it up and hopefully other people will you know set those standards as well but to those who don't i think it's time you open up your eyes and realize that what you're doing is wrong and it shouldn't be acceptable and i think people should question you know salons of what they do i have done it when i've been to salons and i've come out with the wrong hairstyle that you know i didn't ask for i've said to the person this is not what i asked you for and it has started arguments i have been to the professional salon and got my hair done incorrectly that i've spoken about in a previous video and it's not re until recently that i actually got an apology from that salon because of me being on youtube and they don't actually want me to mention it so yeah <laughs> it happens and it shouldn't happen to go to salons anymore i just choose to do my own hair and it works better for me and i know i can do my hair within an hour <laughs> rather than have to take the whole day off of work to go to the salon so um yeah doing what you said wasn't out of place it wasn't out of line it wasn't ignorant um as far as i'm concerned you wasn't generalizing because it kind of is what it is at the end of the day you kept it real and those who felt offended if you haven't experienced that you haven't but some people have so you can't kind of say somebody's opinion is wrong or their experience is wrong because that's what they've experienced and like i said if you look in the comments book bo box it's not just dawn that's experienced this so um yeah that was my my kind of two pence on the situation um it's kind of funny this topic came up because I was thinking about this yesterday because I was watching a program called Chicago Licious, which is a reality program based on a salon in in Chicago and it's um, black owned. And there's two characters or two people in that show who don't like each other and they're always arguing in front of the customers and it's so unprofessional and you know they discuss like their love lives in front of the customers and it's probably all scripted because it's like what else are they going to do? But um, it just kind of reminded me of being in some kind of salons and that happening because 
yeah, it was just a bit out of line, you know. I don't want to be sitting there getting my hair done and because you're vexed with the next girl, you're combing my hair, like, extra hard. So, you know, it does happen. But, um, yeah, that was my little thing on the situation. Um, until next time, YouTube. Bye.